That special and unbeatable feeling of match day is in the air. And the knowledge that this has all the makings of a vibrant... And Excitement and anticipation ahead of kickoff time. Here we are at the Estadio de Montelivi. I'm Derek Ray, perched here on the commentary gantry and sitting alongside me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And the focus is on one of the finest leagues in world football, La Liga. It is Girona against Atletico Madrid. Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I've played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. Well, a bit short with the clearance. Nicely timed tackle. Artem Dovbik. And here's the Girona starting 11. Well, it's a 4-5-1, so they will be very compact out of possession. But they'll need to break forward quickly when they win the ball back. And key to that will be the wide players. This should be a really interesting game. Well, they keep the ball moving. Options in the middle. Superb result and performance for Atletico last time out against Getafe. How might this one go, Stuart? Well, they were so clinical, weren't they? 3-0 fairly represents the difference between the two teams. Today, I think we'll see them dominate the play, create good chances and win the game. Let's hope they play at their best. And this is the starting lineup for Atletico. Jan Oblak stands between the posts. Jose Maria Jimenez plays with Stefan Savic. in central defence and up front Antoine Griezmann starts alongside Morata oh good work by the keeper well the crowd know that set pieces could be their best chance just listen to that reaction clearance left a bit to be desired very quick thinking there well, given the recent form of Antoine Griezmann, a strong case can be made that he could be the difference maker, Stuart. Well, how can you stop him? If you get too tight, he'll use the space behind you, drop off and he'll turn and run at you. Add that to his movement in the box and you can see why he scored so many goals. Koke tasked with taking it. And the keeper able to hold on to it. Sigankov. Artem Dovbik. And scope for them to produce something exciting. A fine reading of the situation. De Paul. Options in the centre. He'll be delighted to have won the ball having made that difficult challenge. Llorente. Could take the lead. And a goal from Antoine Griezmann. And that ought to give his team a massive fillip. Well, it's great awareness of space in the box. And then he shows a lot of composure with the finish. That's a clever goal. And the ball moving again. What sort of response will we see from them now? Arnau Martinez. On the ball, David Lopez. No danger here as he runs at them. But a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. Savic. Now with Morata. 
effective challenge. He has teammates around him. Koke. Rodrigo de Paul. They're putting all their energies into winning back possession. Jimenez. Marcos Llorente. Just failing to hit the target with his pass. And it'll be a throw-in. Hermoso. Griezmann. Llorente. Crossing opportunity. Griezmann. Llorente. And back to Griezmann. Oh, that's textbook goalkeeping. Lamar. Opportunity here. And in range. Sends it back. Koke. Chance to cross. Ball retention so important. Griezmann! It was on its way in. Atletico pushing to add to their lead. Corner. Oh, super header. But the goalkeeper was up to the task. Well, another corner following on from the last one. And over it comes. And ably dealt with. Llorente. And one minute of stoppage time has been added on. Sigankov. Well, he's got plenty of space on the flank here. What a vital intervention. And the referee brings this first half to an end. It's now in the history books. Away they go again. Second half is underway here. Could cross it in here. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Marcos Llorente. Well, many have wondered if they would get it over the line in terms of the deal. They've succeeded, Stuart. Well, the fee is reported to be around about £60 million, which is a lot of money, but I think he's worth it. He's going to be under huge pressure, of course, but I'm sure he'll be able to cope with it. Lopez. Dovbik. And now Garcia. Martin. Nice looking move, this. Splendid defending. De Paul. And given away by Atletico. That's a useful cross. Well, you can't really have them any better than that. But the goalkeeper was up to the task. Garcia. Oh, tremendous vision. And he stopped them in their tracks. 
Marcos Llorente. And clears his lines. Right, Alex Scott has an update for us. A goal in the Celta Vigo game, Alex. Yeah, it's a goal for Celta Vigo. They've scored the opener with 63 minutes played. Alex, thank you very much. Takes the shot. Well, it might still work out for them. Oh, it comes to nothing in the end. Really should have made more of that. It is an Atletico substitution. Very quick thinking there. Rodrigo de Paul. One thing to sit deep, it's another thing to sit that little bit too deep. Morata. On to Griezmann. What a commitment to defending. Martinez. Promising attack, this. And teammates to play it to. Still not clear. A gift for any goalkeeper. We're inside the final quarter of an hour now. It is a decent looking attack here. It's a weighted pass. Well, not cleared away completely. And a textbook interception. Hermoso Savic now Jimenez now we're inside the final 10 minutes in this one Atletico might be able to cash in here a fine reading of the situation now perhaps they can counter from here well the players should be inspired by this the crowd have really got behind them today Gankov Garcia with it well with five minutes remaining and just one goal between them still the prospect of late excitement in this match De Paul Koke effective challenge Well, I'm not sure they deserve anything from this game, but there's still time to find that equaliser. And you have to say the crowd have been brilliant. They're still driving the team on. And a substitution in the offing. And forward they go, chasing the game. It looked as though they had attacking momentum, but not so. Going well. And that is that. The final whistle is sounded. And music to the ears of fans of the Colchoneros worldwide. I wonder what your thoughts were as regards their performance. Yes, Derek, there wasn't much in it, to be honest. Really competitive game with chances at both ends. But they probably just about edged it overall and deserved the result in the end.